A man went to God, and asked, What is the value of life? God gave him a stone, and said, Find out the value of this stone, but don't sell it. The man took the stone to an orange seller, and asked him what its cost would be. The orange seller saw the shiny stone, and said, You can take twelve oranges, and give me the stone. The man apologized, and said that, God has asked him not to sell it. He went ahead, and found a vegetable seller. What could be the value of this stone? He asked the vegetable seller. The seller saw the shiny stone, and said, Take one sack of potatoes, and give me the stone. The man again apologized, and said he can't sell it. Further ahead, he went into a jewelry shop, and asked the value of the stone. The jeweler saw the stone under a lens, and said, I'll give you 50 lakhs for this stone. When the man shook his head, the jeweler said, All right, all right, take two crores, but give me the stone. The man explained, that he can't sell the stone. Further ahead, the man saw a precious stone's shop, and asked the seller the value of this stone. When the precious stone's seller, saw the big ruby, he asked, From where did you bring this priceless ruby? Even if I sell the whole world, and my life, I won't be able to purchase this priceless stone. Stunned, and confused, the man returned to God, and told him what had happened. Now tell me what is the value of life, God. God said. The answers you got from the orange seller, the vegetable seller, the jeweler and the precious stone seller, explain the value of life. You may be a precious stone, even priceless, but people may value you based on their level of information, their belief in you, their ambition, and their risk-taking ability. But don't fear, you will surely find someone, who will discern your true value. God concluded. In the eyes of God, you are very very precious. Respect yourself. You are unique. No one can replace you.